All right, so uh, let's look at another sort of accumulator pattern, uh, or accumulator example for dictionaries. Uh, this is going to be a word counts dictionary, which we've showed in a, we showed in a previous lesson, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply here. Um, really, this is about checking membership, and that's why we're going to demonstrate it. So um, let's make a function called word counts, and it's going to take in some string, and uh, let's just call it. Uh, I'm going to call it paragraph, and I'm going to say uh, P2 is going to get that paragraph. And I'm just going to go ahead and lowercase it. And uh, that's just going to get us on sort of on the same page. And then uh, I'm going to overwrite P2 because we don't need to save it in that format. And I'm going to replace a few things. So I'm going to say P2.replace will get rid of periods and uh, we'll get rid of, I'm just going to do a few of these. We're going to get rid of commas. We're going to get rid of, what else? We'll get rid of apostrophes. And uh, do I see anything else in there offhand? Ah, parentheses. Why don't we get rid of those while we're at it? And... Notice I need to um, put a backslash in front of that apostrophe. Now, is that it? Oh, probably get rid of a dash. There's always more. So let's get rid of the dash. And I think that's OK. So now let's uh, turn that into a list. Let's say P2 is going to get uh, p2 dot, actually let's call this p2 list. And this is going to just be split upon empty spaces. And remember, you, you don't have to put an empty space explicitly here. By default, it will split on an empty space. Um, but I'm just putting it in there because, hey, that's what I'm going to do. Now, we need to accumulate. We're, we're going to make word counts, so we'll need a sort of word counts dictionary. And I can declare it like this, remember, uh, with the two curly braces. Or I can do dict. I'm going to go ahead and use the two curly braces for this example. They are equivalent. So I'm just going to say, at this point, I'm going to say for word in p2 list d if the word is not in uh, D. And I can say D or I can say D.keys. Okay. I'm just going to say D. If word not in D, then I'm going to say D sub word. And I'm going to set it to zero. And then I'm going to go ahead and increment it. Now, this is uh, how I usually do it. Um, you can you can write this equivalently. Uh, you can write the equivalent of this by saying um, elif d sub word plus gets one. Uh, sorry, else. And instead of setting it to zero to start off with, uh, setting it to one. You can't increment something that doesn't exist, right? So you have to check membership of word in d or d dot keys. Remember, those are equivalent word in D or D dot keys. And then at the end of this, we can just uh, return the dictionary. Now, if I call this, uh, we might find that there's some things. I think, what did I call this? String? Yep, I did call it string. So I'm going to print the word counts. And let's see what we get. All right, Claire Stevenson. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that thing that I do where I say for key value in word counts string dot items and I'm going to print the f string of the word uh, sorry the key and the value and this will just get us a nice cleaner looking thing over here um, so there we go
we go. So Claire appears once, uh, Stevenson appears twice, 1903 to 1988. Uh, you know, maybe what I would do in my next cleaning round of this is, um, you know, remove any numbers, right? Because we're not really worried about counting those. But, you know, um, I can use replace to do that. Or I can check, uh, I can iterate over the string and remove any non-alpha characters. Uh, there's multiple ways to do that. Was the inaugural director. Director appears twice, was appears five times, the appears eight. Uh, maybe there's a world where we put these in alphabetical order. And maybe there's another world where we uh, list these from greatest uh, number of occurrences to least number of occurrences. Um, I'm not going to get into that here. I just wanted to demonstrate a way to go, um, a way to, to, that you need, a place where you need to check membership in order to create an accumulator. And that is certainly true when you are building a word counter function such as this.